In the real world, rays of light curve through materials like mirages, mixed drinks, and gas flows due to their heterogeneous makeup. In order to reconstruct these material properties and design grin lenses, we present a method for optimizing volumes of continuously varying index of refraction using inverse rendering. Rays of light curve through the medium as described by nonlinear ray tracing. We simulate the propagation of these rays by simulating equations derived from geometric optics. Previous methods for designing and reconstructing volumes use gradient-based optimization, which requires the use of automatic differentiation, or autodiff. This, however, presents a bottleneck, since autodiff requires a working memory of the ray trajectory to compute the necessary gradients. Optimization tasks can only be done at low resolutions, as the size of the trajectory is directly proportional to the size of the volume. We address this problem by leveraging the fact that nonlinear ray tracing is reversible, and that using the adjoint state method, it is possible to circumvent the need to record the trajectory while calculating the gradients used in optimization. Our method has constant memory complexity with respect to the time steps taken in the trajectory, thus allowing us to solve optimization tasks with higher resolution. With our method, we are able to design optical pieces for varying objectives. We formulate a loss that encourages better focusing to produce a grin fiber that performs better than the parabolic profile. Light travels through the optimized fiber for a longer distance before experiencing severe dispersion. We also produce an optical display that shows different images based on the direction of incoming light. Additionally, we can recover the Lunenburg lens using only a description of the properties of the lens without the analytic solution. For more information about these experiments and others, please visit our site and paper.